welcome. As you can see them on my porch. We got some rain coming and all. But I recently found one of these. It's called Sterilite. It's was by S T E R I L I T E. Found it at Walmart. It's also available at Ace. It's forty dollars. The only reason I'm showing you this. Basically, you take a 18 gallon bin, like a Rubbermaid and all. You're looking at maybe 1,500 worms, if that, you can hold with it. The size of this, and you notice it's a little square on the drawers, basically enables you to sell smaller, say, red wigglers, basically over 6,500, or adult size, you're looking at about 5,200. Red wigglers being a four drawer system, you notice it's a little more compact, takes up less floor room. Slides in and out real nice. It's got a little backing on it. Comes in a little cubicle thing. You just snap the pieces together. Basically, all you need to do is take your drawers, take them out so you can see inside here. Now notice the way it comes. It's already hollowed out in the center, except for your top lid. The only thing we need to do is take our eight inch drill bit. And we're going to drill holes along here, along the front, the back, and the other side, just to allow additional airflow to the bottom of this. Not too many that you break it up and lose the support of. The other thing you need to do, a couple of quick tools you're going to need is your drill and a marker. As you can see, there's plenty of airflow through the top on each of these and on the sides. So you only have to drill holes on the top of this or on the top of your bucket or anything like that, your bin tray. Basically, all you do is slide all the way back to a little stopper and put together make sure the back that says back on it, all of them go towards the back. Basically, just take your pen, marker out, as you can see, nice little marking. Put that back off to the side. Basically, you want about Five holes across the shorter distance area. About six or so on the other. You can just drill them out. A little trick for you. When you are drilling these out, you get a lot of burrs. Turn your tray or bin around. Drill back the other way. I will get rid of all of them. But I will get rid of a lot of them. Basically, then you have to get rid of the rest. I'm just using something here right now that I already pre-drilled this one pretty much. It won't take up a lot of time, but basically then you just want to stick them back in or basically take your newspaper. And you got to dampen it down. Right there. Notice I shred all this with a shredder. Gets a little more airflow than just ripping little pieces. Dampen it down, get your food going. And you're all set to go. Your next drawer. Even if you only have maybe uh, one or two pounds of worms and you want to get started, I would suggest using the bottom drawers first to keep it stabilized, or the bottom one and the middle one. You can always do that. Collect your cocoons, lay them in your other bins, and set them up maybe a couple weeks early. This way, all of a sudden, you start blooming in those. These will continue making your compost. You have new ones that will be hatching, and they'll start making compost. Just a little tip, basically this goes for $40, one time out. You can buy a worm, farm, with a spigot on it. But let me tell you, if you're getting moisture out of that spigot, your worm bin is too wet, you're going to end up losing your worms. I don't know why people buy them or why people have made them like that and advertise them and promote them to people. The spigot is useless. It's not warranty, it's leach it. And basically, that can actually be harmful to your plants. So be real careful if you're going to use that. Smell it first it, and don't put your nose right up to it. If it's got an odor, get rid of it. You know, if it doesn't have an odor, you're taking a little bit of a chance. It could be acidic or anything else. It could be harmful to some plants. When you make tea with the worm castings that you can get from the compost when you separate, the pH balance is perfectly balanced every time by 6.5 to 7, every single time. But that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed it. We've got more videos. Next time we're going to compare a couple worms. I think I'd start with this one. People get used to us before I break out the worms. When we get some compost worms out, I'll show you the difference side by side with them. Might even throw in a little extra one, one of the jumpers, bring him over even though he's outside. Bring one of them over and show you that. But for now, have a good day.